Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Office Hours with Jess. Today, I'll be talking about how you can use Zoom as a tool to transcribe qualitative interviews or just any type of audio using a Zoom function. So why use Zoom to transcribe qualitative interviews specifically for research purposes, um, which is sort of the inspiration of what created today's video? I was submitting an IRB application to do qualitative interviews, and they actually came back um, saying that using an outside third-party transcription service was less secure than using something like Zoom, because when you just use Zoom, you're not sharing your qualitative participant data with an outside source, and thus Zoom is more secure. So if you are part of an institution that provides you with a Zoom account, and it usually has all of the security features built in that are necessary for you to conduct your research, this is a nice little workaround to that. A nice perk is that it is also free. Again, if it comes with your university affiliation, um, like it does for me, so trans traditional transcription services cost anywhere from 2 to $3 per minute the last time I checked, uh, which has been a while. So maybe it's more expensive now uh, for the recordings. But with this, it's free. So this could save you a lot of money, especially if you are coding a lot of information and a lot of interviews or focus groups. And it's also very fast. Um, the turnaround time that Zoom brings you your transcript is very quick, and I'll get to that in more detail later on. Another important thing to start with is to just check your Zoom account settings to make sure it is enabling you to do this audio Zoom recording transcription. So go to your Zoom administrative profile, however it is that you log into that. And then once you're there, go to your settings and then go to the recording tab of your settings. Once you're there, scroll down to find the checkbox of create audio transcript. And you just wanna make sure that that box is checked off. You can look at everything else just to make sure things are checked off the way you want them to be, but make sure that box at the very least is checked off. Now, during the Zoom call, a few things to note, or just one thing really to note that is most important, is that make sure you record to the cloud. The first time I tried to do this, I recorded it to my computer thinking, oh, if the file's on my computer, if I have the actual file, that's in my brain, that made more sense. But no, you must record to the cloud. And the something up there in the cloud is what is then transcribing your audio into text. So record to the cloud. And then after the Zoom call, your recording will be available. I usually get an email notification automatically. It usually takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour or even less, depending on how long the Zoom recording is. And you can also go back to your Zoom account to access it. So what that looks like, going back to your Zoom admin account, you go to recording and transcripts on your sidebar. And then what will appear are all of your cloud recordings, um, as you can see. And then you can actually click on the video or the recording. And then it'll take you to this page that shows you all of the different files that it saved for that recording. And then it's the very bottom, you'll see that it says audio transcript in English original at least that's how it shows up for me. And then if you hover over it, it'll highlight in gray. And then you can click the download button, which is a little down arrow with a line. And once you hit that, it'll then download the transcript of your audio recording onto your computer as a file. So it saves as a .vtt file, which is essentially like a text file when I open it on my MacBook. But you should then be able to copy and paste this into a Word document that you can then more easily take a look at and manage. You will need to clean up the transcription as it will be very segmented and have some typos. Again, this is a free Zoom service, so it will not be perfect and it will take some time to do this. So do factor that in when you are deciding whether or not this is the right approach for you and your team. 
But then you can go ahead and use this document to code as you would qualitatively and upload the Word document into softwares like NVivo to do your qualitative analysis. And that's everything I have. Thank you so much. Happy transcribing. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, or should I say transcribe, and I will see you on another episode of Office Hours with Jess. Thank you.